Hey there, in this video, I'm going to teach you how I use four assistants to run my entire six figure marketing agency and my nonprofit. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Paylente, a donor investment fund. And if you're new to my channel, please comment new so I can send you these exact strategies. That's what I do. Over the last 10 years, I've been coaching people, businesses, and nonprofits how to grow online by giving them my cheat sheets so they can just copy and use them in their business to get better results. So we already know you're busy running your business. You don't have extra time to go add another thing to your plate. It's hard enough to even do social media on your own. Are you writing the emails? How can you edit your website? Are you doing blogs? Are you making videos? There's just so much out there that it could be overwhelming. And if that's you, then listen up. Now, over the last 10 years growing my business, I've struggled with this also. It's either do all the work and work with all the clients and sacrifice posting content, or it's post content and sacrifice time helping clients, right? So I always would try to do both. And that just makes you stressed out. It's overwhelming. It takes up a lot of your time. You're just going to be working all day long, helping clients and making content especially if you're tired at the end of the day and you know you have to go make content just like this. So I struggled with that, just like you probably are struggling with that also. It wasn't until I realized the power of contractors and freelancers helping me with these small tasks and letting them do what they're good at. Let them focus on what they're good at. Now, I first started out hiring employees. You know, that gets to be very expensive. Your profit margins drop dramatically. Once you build that big team, yes, maybe they provide quality, you get to meet with them face to face. You're able to work with the clients even more, but it's very expensive if you want them just doing the assistant task, like editing a video, writing a blog, posting on your social media. And I've realized that you can really outsource that for a very affordable cost to help you with your online business and your online marketing. So in today's video, let me break down those four key assistants that help me with my marketing. So hopefully they can help you automate your marketing also. So assistant number one is basically the team manager. She helps me with my day-to-day -day operations. She communicates between myself and my other assistants. So I only need one point of contact. And that's what you want to consider for your business or nonprofit is having that one manager, that one assistant, that's your key point of contact to make sure everything's getting done, to make sure there's quality and to make sure everyone stays on track. And then also you can send all of your content over to her. So you can send your videos, your ideas, your topics, uh, questions your customers ask, you know, any frequently asked questions I get during the week, I send to my team manager and she uses that for extra content, right? She also does the website edits, the blogs, the email automations and communicates with clients, handles all of my emails. So that's somebody that you can trust a little bit more to be able to speak with your clients, to handle emails, to write some copy for you and somebody to just follow the general rules of your brand guidelines. And then she also communicates with the three other assistants below her because quite frankly, I don't have time to communicate with all four. So I'm going to just work with one, make sure she's getting those other three people on track. So think about that one person that you can find that's kind of a jack of all trades that you can trust and communicate with, and then it can bring three other assistants below her. Assistant number two is the social media manager. So he posts daily, three times a day on all the social media channels. Now, what I do is I set them up with a playbook like this that they're going to follow. So they have my brand guidelines. They've got the images I like. They know my copy. They know what I talk about. They know what the business is about. And then they can just follow this playbook, which you can actually get in the description below if you'd like it, where they're just going to follow my social media posts so it stays on brand. Now we know that they're posting quality content. They're learning from the posts. They're looking at the analytics. They're seeing what works and what doesn't work. And they're using that data to continue making better social media posts. So if you look at my social media channels, we post daily and it's not me posting. I give the ideas, I give the questions, some of the topics, but a lot of times they come up with a, on their own and then they go ahead and just post it for me. If you want, you can delegate a little bit more and have them run it past you before they post. But really for social media, it's about quantity and quality. So you want to kind of be in that happy medium where you're posting consistently, but you're still happy with the quality there. And this person directly communicates with the manager and the manager makes sure that they're posting on time, they're posting enough and they're posting quality content. Assistant number three is gonna actually take this video and edit it for me. So they gave me the topic, told me exactly what to talk about, how that's gonna help people. 
common question I get is how are you able to run your nonprofit and your six figure agency business and helping 106 people. I've got over 6,000 people on the email list. And how are you able to still make videos and make content? Well, what they did was sent me this topic. Hey, this might help teaching people how to have assistance for their own business or nonprofit. So I got the topic. I'm making this video. I'm giving you the education off the top of my head and what I've learned and hopefully it can help you. And then my video editor, he's going to edit this video. He's going to post it on YouTube, all my social media channels. He's going to edit. So it goes on the stories and the reels. And then he's going to take the transcriptions and send it to my manager for a, a blog post so that she's going to take all of the transcriptions from this video, turn it into a blog post. So now it's also benefiting YouTube and Google. So consider a video editor or somebody that's going to be able to be involved as an assistant that way and make sure that you have videos going out. I really think videos are one of the best ways to do marketing. Assistant number four is the advertising expert. This is somebody that's going to run all the advertising for you, or at least just the marketing to make sure you're always growing online. Now, I always suggest doing some sort of advertising, especially retargeting. You don't have to spend that much to do that. So anyone that comes to our website, we retarget them on Instagram and Twitter ads and YouTube. So that way we build that better relationship. And I'm always talking about relationship marketing. You can find one of my other videos about that on my YouTube channel, where you want to be able to follow up with people multiple ways. Of course, we want to follow up via email. We want to have them follow us on social media, and then we want to show them some ads. So we show we're an authority in the space and you only really need a couple hundred bucks to start. And then you can scale it from there. So we want somebody to see us, remember us continuing to see us see that we're providing value and seeing those ads to prove that we're an authority in this space. And then they're more likely to come back and buy. So the return on your investment is very high. So my advertising manager, she posts on Twitter, she finds what organic posts. So let's say this video does really well um, for free as an organic post. She'll take this and turn it into an ad because we already proved that it gets good results. And this will show to people that have already heard of me, so they can continue seeing that I'm providing value. So think about how you can continue providing value through videos and posts, use the best performing ones and run them as a small ad, find a freelancer, like I'm talking about here, an assistant to help you do the advertising. So your budget can start out low and you can start growing from there. Now, even if you're big, we have a customer that spends $50,000 a month on advertising and they have two assistants running the ads for them for the same exact cost. So you don't need to just, you know, keep spending way more money. We want to keep those profits high. So we want to keep our team of assistants in place, even as we grow. If you go and work with an agency, they're going to charge you three to $5,000 a month to run your ads. And then as you grow, they're going to charge you a percentage more. So your profits are just going to stay low as you continue to grow, which really isn't the point of running a business. We want to keep those profits high. All right, so I hope this video brought you a ton of value. I wanna give you my automation playbook. It's something that we give out. It's in the description below this video. Please go ahead and grab that. I'd love it if you guys subscribed if this brought you value. But what it's gonna do is show you how to bring on virtual assistants to automate your marketing. It's a guide to just help you automate everything to save you time and to save you money. It's a free download, you can do that. And we do a webinar at the end of every month where I actually break down how you can implement this get those four assistants in place for less than $500. So it's very beneficial for your organization. And I really hope this helped you. And I hope that playbook helps you out a lot. So what are you waiting for? Go grab that free playbook so you can start automating your business.